In this tutorial, we're going to look at three different ways to check for access to Douglas College resources from Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a very popular and easy to use search engine, but it can be frustrating if you don't know how to log into it or to check its results to see if you can access them through the college, especially when you're doing your research off campus because your personal devices don't have a college IP address when you're working someplace else. Many people don't realize that Google Scholar can't provide full text access to everything that comes up in the results. This is because most scholarly articles are published in journals that are not free. The good news is that Douglas College Library subscribes to thousands of scholarly journals. But Google Scholar won't know that unless you provide your institutional credentials in some way. Fortunately, there are three straightforward ways to do this. A very quick method is to navigate over to the Google Scholar link in our database's A to Z list. Once you've done so and authenticated with your CNA login, Google Scholar will understand that you're a Douglas College community member. And when you click the titles of articles, it will generally identify whether they're available to you or not. The downside to this method is that you have to remember to navigate to the library website first. Additionally, if you're doing your research on campus, you won't be asked to log in first, and so it will not be clear which results you have access to specifically as a Douglas user. You'll have to click the titles first to know for certain. For this reason, you may prefer to try something else, such as identifying yourself as a Douglas College user in advance. You can do this within the Google Scholar settings. Start by clicking the icon with three horizontal lines in the top left of your screen. Then click the settings link. And finally, library links. We recommend that you set this up to only show links for institutions where you are currently employed or enrolled. In our case, type in Douglas College and then search. Choose the correct listing and then save. When you re-enter your search terms, you'll notice that some results now have a link that says Get Full Text at Douglas. When you see that, make sure to click that link rather than clicking the title of the article. Unfortunately, this method still doesn't guarantee that everything you have access to will have the Get Full Text link here on the results page. Sometimes you can click a title without this link and still get access. Note. The Google Scholar setting method only works as long as you permit cookies on your device. If you don't clear your cookies, then this setting will be deleted from Google Scholar. So don't forget to re-enter your credentials whenever you clear your browser's cookies. The third option you need to be aware of is authenticating directly on the publisher's website. Start by clicking the title of an article you're interested in reading. If you're on campus and the item is available, you may see the full text right away along with a note stating that Douglas College is providing you with access. You may, however, land on a page that looks something like this one, with an abstract and a Get Access button, and or a price list for access. So it is crucial to look for a link such as Institutional Login, Check Access, Authenticate, Login, or even a simple full text link to see if it leads to a spot where you can find out if Douglas subscribes or not. Note, different publishers use different terminology or have different paths to their institutional login screen, but it should be fairly intuitive which link to click. Once you get there, always choose the Open Athens option. If it is a resource the college pays for, you'll be connected within moments. If not, do not consider paying for the resource without first checking our interlibrary loan service. The folks in ILL will check to see if they can borrow a copy on your behalf from another institution at no cost to you if you're a current Douglas College student, faculty, or staff member. You can also suggest a purchase and we'll consider adding that book or journal to our collection. In this tutorial, we learned three different ways to potentially access Douglas College resources from Google Scholar. We've also learned that none of these methods are foolproof. 
Ultimately, the most reliable way to find all the materials that are available from the library is to search on the library website at library.douglascollege.ca. If you have more questions about finding and acquiring the research you need, you can contact a librarian by clicking the Ask a Librarian link on the library homepage.